everyone, I'm Shirley with Entertainment Weekly, and I am here with the cast of Winona Earp. Hi! We are live on Facebook, so please send in your questions and comments in the comments section below the post. Uh, we would love to have those. But I am going to start off with the fact that this show is such a cult hit. Uh, saw the Times piece, Ooh. saw all the pieces written about it. Uh, so I just want to know, Melanie, you've said before that <laughs> that no, Winona. I got, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh God, it's me first. You've said before that Winona is particularly likable because she's not, you know, a strong female character, whatever that means. She has her own freedom. I was hoping you could elaborate on that. What makes her click? Well, I just think um, there, there's often when you see a breakdown for a, a role and you just go, oh, superhero. Okay, so lose all personality and be sexy. And uh, <laughs> she says while her boobs are out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I think that um, Winona, and this is thanks to Emily, was was written in a way that you were allowed to just have personality, and 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 that being a woman means so much more than what we're often allowed to see. Mm -hmm. And I think that's refreshing. Yeah, absolutely. And as this fandom's grown, I mean, we've seen you guys go on to conventions around the world. What in London, right? And there are more coming up. What has it been like seeing so many Erpers out there? This is for anyone. What? <laughs> Crazy. Incredible. So yeah, amazing. Yeah, I, we sound I, like we're, we're very polite. Like, yeah, 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 we're, Canadian. we're Canadian. We're Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel honored to be a part of the, yeah. the fan. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like there's the show and everything the show represents and does, but then there's this fandom, mm -hmm. and now what that's become and what it represents, and it's it's almost on equal footing and grounding with the show for importance, for me anyway. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel nice to be a part of the fandom. Yeah. yeah. We just came back from Brazil, mm -hmm. which yeah. is like awesome. crazy that people are watching it in Brazil. We, we couldn't even yeah. get over yeah. the, the warmth <laughs> that they... Yeah, know, she, she. yeah, it's a really polite, warm fandom, as opposed yeah. to some other ones that are, you know, in the news these days for being especially toxic. Right. Um, yes. Now, Emily, I do, I do want to know, season three, I hear there are Rihanna-inspired vampires of course. What other kind of vampires would you want in 2018? <laughs> exactly. If, if that's I was a want. vampire, I'd want to have Rihanna fashion sense. I feel like that's the best part about becoming a vampire. Suddenly you know how to put together an ensemble. So yeah. <laughs> there you go. We're yeah. supposed to learn from the vampires as well. Um, mm -hmm. But I want to know, Mama Earp is being introduced properly this season. We'll see her out of the shadows. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've called her... I'm reading this off. Hard drinking, hard partying, former rodeo queen. That doesn't sound like me. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. So what else can we expect? Well, I just think there's so much expectation and mystery about Mama Earp. I mean, the story that's been told up until this point is that she basically abandoned three young girls with their alcoholic, demon-hunting father, as you do. Um, so there's a lot of baggage that comes with that kind of portrayal of a mom who's maybe left these girls. But at the same time, the Earp sisters are such phenomenal women. It would take a very particularly strong, interesting woman to make them these heroes. Mm -hmm. So I think there's lots of contradictions in the character, and um, certainly motivations are going to be questionable and shaded. Um, but she's played by an incredible Canadian icon named Megan Follows from Rain and Anne of Green Gables. And she just shakes stuff up in the cast and is just next level excellent. I mean, on par with everyone here. But uh, <laughs> next level at their level. But uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> finally, no, no. Um, so um, you can expect craziness. Craziness, yeah. Got it. Love it. Great yeah. tease. Well, I do have to ask about Way Hot. <laughs> what can we expect from season three from you two? I love the line, by the way, in the finale where you say she's extraordinary. Aww. That's beautiful. I know. So cute. Yeah, I think. Can't I take it. What can we expect yeah. this season? I think we like to say there's like a domestic way hot for season three. So we get to see these two women at a another stage of their relationship, a stage that's just more comfortable and they've really kind of settled into what this relationship is going to be. And, and, and now it gets interesting because we're, we're past all the initial like jitters of what are we are we not and now I think it's just really nice to see this side of them that's more comfortable and confident but that also comes with its own challenges mm -hmm. I, I concur <laughs> <laughs> nothing further to add <laughs> will Waverly still be curious about her her lineage are we going to see a little bit more of that uh, <laughs> I always get really scared by this question I'm like I don't know what to say um, Facebook Live okay, it's fine. Um, absolutely I think that uh, at the end of season two it was quite a blow that she didn't have the answers I think that 
it, like even though obviously it was a relief finding out that she wasn't a revenant, it was also like it would have been easier to have some sort of answers. Um, and so I feel like we explore that further in season three. <laughs> and uh, I personally, as an actress, was extremely, extremely happy with how Emily wrote it. So oh I God. think everyone's going to be very excited. To see. If you weren't happy with it, would you have said it right? <laughs> like, would you probably not? Like, oh, remember, no. remember when I said finally we got an actress who was next level? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a uh, Facebook question Ooh. from a fan. Jessica Ross wants to know what's been your favorite experience during filming? Hi, Jessica Ross. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Hi, Jessica Ross. Um, during filming, <clears throat> you like the cold. Uh, yeah, love Shavir the loves best the cold. Part. Love Never. the cold, the best part. No, I love Calgary. Uh, Calgary, the team over there, the crew of people, you know, they've been so welcoming to our show for the past three years. And for me, the great experience for me has been just kind of being in, in that city and that culture and that community and them being so gracious and accepting me to our, you know, their homes. They've invited us out to play games and cards and drinks. And, you know, it's just been such an incredible experience. Outside of the show, I think Calgary is just a special city. And uh, thank you for having us and hopefully you can have us for future seasons to come. <laughs> Well, I hope Jessica is from Calgary. <laughs> that was a great answer. Shout out to Jessica. <laughs> we also love where wherever Jessica's from. We love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a close Good second. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> well, I did want to ask, you know, for anybody who wants to become an herper and want to board this herb train, do you guys have any tips, you know, what, for, for binging? Should they have... Do a bottle it. of whiskey yeah. with them? Yes. <laughs> uh, should they lick a potato? Should they? Yeah. They need a bottle of whiskey, a donut, and a Twitter account, I yeah. think. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. That, that's it. The three ingredients. It's a show. It's super fun. And, like, you know, we've talked about this. It's such a welcoming community. You can just say you're a nerper, and then you can be one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, exactly. the, that's, a, that's the whole Everyone's hazing. It's a, yeah. There you go. There you but go. But it is, like, definitely an experience to watch the show and then get involved in the Twitter community. Community, yeah. I think they go well together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good combination. Yeah. Um, now, I do want to know, Emily, you've said that this next season is a reckoning oh, <laughs> for Winona. What do you mean by that? I know, God, so much pressure. I think um, <laughs> there's something interesting in season three, both in the magnificence of the cast, the confidence of the show and their performances. They're so good with their characters. They know what they're doing. And I think similarly, Winona kind of has to come to terms with the fact that she's really good at demon hunting. She's good at killing people, and that's a weird kind of space to be in. I don't know. It's a weird so Tinder profile. <laughs> it's a weird Tinder profile. Swipe <laughs> left, yeah. Um, but I also think she's kind of at a precipice where she has the chance to truly break the family curse because the demon who initially cursed the herbs is out there. She knows who he is. She has him in her sights. It's probably going to be super easy. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so... One yeah, way or another, it's going to come to a head this year. Sounds good. We have another <laughs> Facebook question <laughs> from an nice. Erper. Elodie Merat Varian uh, uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. asks, describe the season, describe season three in one word. So, Elodie, you're going to get eight <laughs> words if everyone wants to go down the line. <laughs> uh, you start right to Plot twist. Plot twist. That's two words. <laughs> Con consequences. Hey. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> no pregnancy. <laughs> no. Did you say tableau? No, I said tableau. tableau. <laughs> I said tacos because consequences can't be beat at this point. So. Yeah. Oh, Anyone Full else? throttle. Oh, Full throttle. Yeah. Two words. It's okay. Yeah. That's one word. Plot twist. Yeah. Full throttle. Taco. I like Good it. Box. Intense. Intense. Great. Can I say full circle? Yeah, full throttle, full circle. Oh, yeah. I like it. And I'm going to say sexy. Ooh, you know it. You know it. <laughs> Basically, Chantel brings the sex appeal like and everything she yeah. does. Yeah. I, like like um, I will say uh, blood. Blood. Oh, blood. Oh. blood. Oh. All right. Oh. Elodie, okay. I hope those are all really <laughs> great answers. Word. <laughs> um, Just say one. Chantel, one. actually, I do want to know. You're new this season. I'm You're so a character, new. Kate. Tell us a little bit about her. I hate everyone here. I just want to awesome. say that. Yeah. They're gross. No joking. Um, I'm so grateful to be here, and working with everyone has been like the best part of it. 
But Kate is very mysterious, and I don't want to say too much, or else I'm never coming back. No. So, um, but what I can say is Emily and the writing squad really got her story like down pat. So I'm really excited for everyone to meet her. And everyone's actually been so welcoming. They've only seen like two seconds of her. Mm -hmm. And already, I'm sure I'm getting so much love from all the Herpers. You got a gift? Crazy. That was my I favorite. have a gif, G-I-F. Yeah. <laughs> gif, gif, however you guys say it. Gif. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. It's I officially made it. Yeah. I'm a celebrity. <laughs> I have a gif. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, we're going to wrap up. Uh, thank you guys so much thank for being you. here. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, thank you season so three starts Bye, July Facebook 20th. Live. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye